man, this is Chris the Nightmare Ariola, and you're watching Mission Boxing Today on YouTube. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, man, so I just got done listening to an IFL TV interview. Uh, Eddie Hearn, so shouts out to IFL TV, but Ed, Eddie Hearn did an interview, and he says that uh, Dillian White will be fighting Michael Grant. Yes, that Michael Grant. Um, now I understand. <laughs> now I I understand that Dillian White wants to fight Deontay Wilder. He wants to fight Joseph Parker. He's made it known, right? He's he's made it known he wants to fight those guys. I like Dillian White, man. I actually, you know, I put up his Instagram footage of him training. I like the trash talk. I like that he's willing to fight different guys. But this, but this fight right here, man, is, you know, now they said they come over here to make a splash in America and they're fighting an eight rounder against Michael Grant, man. And, you know, Michael Grant lost his last three fights, man. He lost to, uh, shit, who did he, he just lost recently to, uh, Christoph Zemnock, the Polish, uh, fighter. He lost to a man, he lost to Manuel Char and Carlos Takam. He's only had three fights since 2013 and he lost all of them by stoppage and, um, I don't think he even fought in 2012. Yeah, man. So he's only had three fights in the last, you know, what, shit, five years, man. Like, come on, man. 44-year-old Michael Grant. I just don't see how you're going to make a splash. I don't understand. I don't understand that. Even even if you blow him out in a round, you beat a 44-year-old Michael Grant who's only fought three times in five years, man. You know, and I'm not even sure a fight like this will even be televised. Now, some of you are probably saying, but Mr. Boxing, you don't understand the business. They're just doing this. Um, you know, he's he's just picking up a fight, and then he's going to look for something bigger and better in the fall and going into the wintertime. Okay, that's cool, man. That's, that's totally fine. But I did not expect a Michael Grant. I just didn't, man. I was expecting a journeyman, but probably somebody that at least won at least a, at least a fight, their last fight, at least a couple wins in a row. Not just somebody that's lost the last three fights. They only had three fights in the last five years. Michael Grant was a uh, good up-and-coming talent back in the late 90s when I was in high school. Um, I used to hate Michael Grant, though, man. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I did not like Michael Grant because I was a big Tyson fan, and Grant used to always come to the ring with Holyfield. You know what I mean? I used to, ah, uh, man. Uh, Holy, I respect Holyfield, and he became one of my top five favorite heavyweights of all time, one of my top five fighters of all time as I got older and I moved out of my Tyson fanboy days as a teenager and started to respect his uh, craft, man. Holyfield became one of my favorites. He got my respect over the years. But, uh, man, I just did not like Michael Grant. But anyways, man, yeah, Grant put on some good fights in the uh, late 90s, mid you know, to late 90s. Uh, yeah, like late 90s going into the early 2000s, but just not excited for this, man. I really don't even know what to say. Yeah, man, uh, Dillian White versus Michael Grant will be taking place August 19th. And also on the card, you got Brian Jennings taking on Daniel Martz. At least Martz has a win. Uh, he, lost, he, he won his last fight, at least. Um, then he had that rematch with uh, Alexis Santos that he lost. And we, for you Parker fans, he, he, uh, Parker got rid of him too, but yeah, man, it just kind of sucks seeing two good heavyweights, uh, Brian Jennings and White on the same card, not fighting each other. And I understand that White's been off the ring since, uh, December, 2012, when he lost to Brian Jen or when he lost to, uh, Luis Ortiz. So he probably didn't want a Dillian White fight his first fight back, but just as a fan though, you know, it's kind of just sucks seeing those two heavyweights on the same cards in those type of fights but that's just me i'm sure both of these guys jennings and dillian white will have something bigger and better after august 19th but just getting out there to you guys curious to hear your perspective about dillian white versus michael grant i'm out